If we look at, and this, these are in alphabetical order, the Biomet triple I or three I implant system, they do not make a tissue level implant, but they do make a butt joint type implant, but they also make a platform switched type implant. If we look at Camlog, they do not make a tissue level, but joint they do have in a platform switched implant. If we look at Dense Ply, they have bought several companies, as you know, they bought Astra, but they have a tissue level implant, they have a butt joint implant, and they have a platform switched implant, so they offer all three. If you look at Nobel BioCare, they make a tissue level implant. They make the traditional butt joint implant that started with the Branamark system. And they also make a platform switched implant system. If we look at the Strauman implant system, they make a tissue level implant. They do not make a butt joint. And they make a platform switched implant system. Zimmer has all three. They have a tissue level implant, a butt joint implant, and a platform switched. So if we look at these overall, you can see that from a tissue level implant point of view, there are five different companies that make tissue level implants. From a butt joint point of view, there's six of these companies. But what's kind of interesting is that all seven of these make a platform switched implant. Now, why is that? What have we learned that tell us that these different implants have differences between them? 